What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're here to talk about the top five Town Hall 10 attacks to use for this current CWL or really any war in general. We're going to talk about the easiest attacks to pick up and run with to get three stars in war. But before we do guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. If you guys want to see more of this type of content, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll try to get Town Hall 12 tomorrow. We did Town Hall 11 yesterday if you missed that. So I'll try to do Town Hall 12 tomorrow. And then let's go with today's comment keyword of the day of Town Hall 10. Throw that down in the comments. I'll try to Go throw it hard up, you guys. Show you guys some love, and then really quickly, we'll shout out a free view, guys, from yesterday's video. But let's go ahead, let's ho hop into it. Let's talk about the top five attacks to use in CWL for Town Hall 10. All right, guys, so here are five easy armies to pick up and use for Town Hall 10 in war or clan war leagues or whatever you need to use it for. The first one, Dragloon, and these aren't in any certain order or anything like that. First one being Dragloon, you're going to use those lightning spells to zap out some air defenses. We'll show that off. Uh, the next one's Hybrid. I'm not a huge fan of Hybrid at Town Hall 10, but I get a ton of requests for this so we'll try that one i'm not sure how that's gonna go we'll try out the hybrid at town hall 10 and realistically i think like queen charge miners might be the better play for town hall 10 but we'll kind of explore that as we go electron which is going to use an electro dragon a balloon and a blimp with two clones and a rage to get massive value it's really crazy how much value you can get with the Electron. Bow Witch, which is more of like an old classic attack, but it's really super effective. And then Kill Squad Hogs, where you're going to dive in, try to take out like the Clan Castle, the Queen, and we'll show all that off. But what we're going to do is we're going to hop in. We're going to show these off live. We also have the P.E.K.K.A. Smash in there, but I feel like the P.E.K.K.A. Smash is pretty self-explanatory, and I don't love it at 10. Uh, these ones are more like really easy to pick up and use and effective, with the exception of Hybrid. I don't know how Hybrid is going to use, so let me go find some bases, and we'll test these out live here today all right guys so with electron lalo what we're going to do is we're going to use a blimp to kind of get in here and the objective is always going to be like the queen and an inferno tower if you can get those down it's going to be massive value we might get out this air defense we might get out this air defense we might get some bows and sweepers and then we're going to plan to use our heroes to kind of work inside the base we might even need some wall breakers kind of base dependent but in this comp for whatever reason i don't have wall breakers we're going to use a couple balloons just to soak up and make sure that our blimp is going to make it in here and then we're going to go ahead and clone and rage now you're using a ton of spell space on this so be aware of that that you're not going to have as many spells for your lalo portion because you're using it on the electron uh, so there the e-dragon is just going to get massive value be able to work through we do see those sweepers are kind of pushing like kind of inward and outward but i think the e-dragon will be fine to work in there so i'm going to try to cut off our king right here with a couple balloons i don't know that this will work all right yeah eh, eh. all right so we're going to put the queen right in here with the king i'm going to let that e-drag just do his thing and if we don't get to that air defense no big deal we do got to keep an eye on the time i'm going to go with our baby dragon right here two wizards maybe that'll push the king in yeah two wizards should push the king in right here all right so king should go in here we don't have wall breakers in but that's okay let's go ahead and pop his ability and get him working in there. E-Dragon's still doing its thing up top. There goes the king in there. Should be able to get towards that last air defense. And then we're going to go ahead and start in our Lalo through this back end here. All right. Let's get these guys all working. Now, we don't have a ton of haste, so be aware of that. So we're going to freeze right here on that sweeper and the single. And then we're going to go ahead and haste right in there. Let's poison those air skellies. Then we'll get these last few balloons working through here. And then we'll just try to get through and destroy the rest of the base, which looking pretty good. And we'll get our cleanup in. Cleanup probably should have been in earlier, but that's okay. Get this all cleaned up. And there we go. Electro Lalo. Pretty simple. It's all about getting the value out of the Electron. Like, we got massive value. We got that Queen out. We got an Inferno out. We got tons of stuff down. And then we were able to set up a line. And like I said, it depends on the base. You might want to bring some wall breakers. But you see there, we got unpopped hounds. That's how much this base was crushed. Uh, but wall breakers would have been good here to break our heroes in over in that compartment. But we didn't have that. But that, that's okay. But that's an example of how powerful Electron Lalo is at Town Hall 10. This might be my fa favorite Town Hall 10 attack to use for three stars next up we're going to talk about the zap dragon so what we're going to do here is we're going to zap out air defenses we got air defense here air defense here air defense here and i'm going to leave this one by the queen up because we're going to send our heroes in to deal with that so uh town hall 10 uh air defense has 1200 hit points lightning spell does 400 damage so 400 times three is enough to take those out and we should be able to get all these down zapping right through here 
Nice. Now, the other thing to be aware of whenever you use any kind of dragons is the sweeper location. Now, what I did, I think in the original comp, it showed off uh, baby drags, but I wanted to uh, have wall breakers in here just to try to get the heroes in a little bit earlier. You see that queen's being a little bit of a nuisance. Also, that way we could push in a little bit further. And it looks like we got sweepers kind of pushing opposite directions, which is a pretty common thing. So we might have to fight one of the sweepers here. Yeah, let's see. Maybe we can come in from this top side here. I'm going to start a dragon right up here just to get it working. Queen's stuck on a storage. Hopefully she comes and gets that air defense. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Queen gets on the air defense, then we'll just set the funnel over here. And then we're going to send everything right up the middle here. All right. Nice. Good. Fine and dandy. And then we could even bring in our stone slammer like here, like kind of awkwardly. And then we're just going to let these guys all work through here. I'm going to freeze the multi and the sweeper right there. We're going to go ahead and rage up there. The stone slammer should get to that other multi in plenty of time. And then we should be able to work through here without too much issue. But since all the air defenses are down, we should be good. We'll throw that minion up top in the corner. Cleanup could be a little bit of an issue. One thing with this attack is you got to be aware of time uh but if bows are on ground you should definitely be considering this or the electron for sure these attacks will smash town hall tents without any issues but what about like ground attacks we'll talk about the ground attacks next uh because these are super powerful and honestly these are my go-to's at town hall 10 but maybe you're not comfortable with them for whatever reason maybe you don't like La using lalo you're not comfortable using Lalo, or maybe you think the dragons are too slow even though this base is going to be absolutely crushed uh we'll, we'll show off some ground attacks including like more traditional like bow witch we'll try out that hybrid i have never used hybrid at town hall 10 i see a lot of people talking about it i just think there's better options that's why i don't use it and then more of a classic attack the kill squad hogs is always really really good at town hall 10 but it also kind of depends on the base that's why i want to give you guys five attacks so you have a wide array of attacks to use in your arsenal to crush any base but look at this guys look at all those dragons up that's a beautiful thing once you get all four air defenses down especially against multis the dragons are just going to run through any base at Town Hall 10. Nice three star. So let's go ahead. Let's talk about that Bow Witch. All right, guys. So Bow Witch is pretty simple. This is more of an old school strategy. But what I like to do is I like to put a couple witches in the corner with a couple bowlers just to kind of set the edge. Then we're going to go with that golem up top. And then we're just going to go ahead and set a simple funnel here. Just clearing out everything. Then we're going to send that wall wrecker right up the middle. This is super effective against bases with singles uh, because the witches and the skellies can kind of just overwhelm the singles if you're running up against multis you might want to reconsider this but I, I think this one's still a really powerful attack especially with the addition of a wall wrecker uh even without a wall wrecker you should be able to get some pretty good value in here but you see everything's just going to work through and we're going to have a nice little line through the back of the base we can heal in the middle of the base i'm going to jump the heroes right through here we do have clan castle troops coming out should have poisoned them like a month and a half ago but that's okay we got an ice golem yeti in the clan castle if you can't get a yeti go with like double ice golem or even like uh uh yeah double ice golem giant or even mass giants in the clan castle uh that seems to work out pretty well and there you go bow witch is pretty simple pretty straightforward it's all about making a funnel into the base and pushing through it's really good against the bases with the singles so that's what you're going to look for this uh look for with the bow witch Use the witches just to overwhelm the singles in the core. Use that heal to keep those bowlers up through the core. And we crush right on through this one. Not like the most OP, like maxed out base or anything. Uh, I know like some things weren't there. But I this was just a really good example of a style base to use the bow witch on. That's why I picked this one here. But look at this. We got queen up. We got witches up. And we're just going to be able to finish this one off and get the nice three star so bow witch a classic attack but works really well you can you don't always have to use two jumps it always depends on the base as far as jumps you can even bring in an earthquake it just really depends on the base and how much value you can get out of your wrecker so let's keep moving guys let's talk about kill squad hogs all right guys so this is an attack i used to use a ton and the objective here is we're going to send in a small kill squad to try to take out a corner of the base and then we can run our hogs around the rest of the base uh so what we're going to do is just that so we're going to go ahead we're going to set up, I'm just looking through here. Uh, I do have a wall wrecker and wall breaker, so I guess I don't really need the wall breakers. I, 
I was thinking, uh, really, you want to go like siege machine, if or siege barracks rather, if you can, for your siege machine, uh, just because like the value out of a siege barracks is insane. But I also thought like when, before I requested a siege barracks, I was like, eh, maybe everyone can't get a siege barracks, so that's why I went with this. So I guess the wall breakers are going to kind of be a waste here. That's all right though. We can work through. We can make it happen. So our wall is going to have an ice golem and a yeti in there. And we'll get that all the way through. And we want to get out the queen. We want to get out any clan castle troops with this kill squad. Uh, because the enemy queen, the enemy uh, clan castle troops can be a real issue for the hogs. And then once we have a nice push into the core, we're going to go ahead and start with our hogs. Uh, we're going to have to drop a heal early. But we have three heals, so not a big deal. Uh, ideally, we would poison the clan castle. But we can also use a poison like on the king and stuff as we work through here. Uh, so what we're going to do is, as these hogs are working over to this compartment here, we're going to heal. We're going to poison there, because the king's there, and then we have skeletons all over our hogs. You don't want skeletons all over your hogs, you're going to have a bad time. And then we're just going to save that last heal for this last compartment, and we'll be good, guys. And that's kill squat hogs. It's pretty effective, but you really have to make sure you get out the enemy queen, the enemy clan castle troops, and get a ton of value out of the dive into the base. Uh, so that's what you need to look for in that one and really at tunnel 10 it's all about practice guys you want to practice and just make sure you know what you're using i love those air strategies but that's not to say that the ground strategies aren't going to work for you and we see that right here where these hogs are just crushing this base look at this absolutely crushed it again we didn't have clan castle troops but if there were clan castle troops that's where that max poison comes in throw that on the clan castle and you'll crush it no problem it's kind of hard like i, I kind of should have did these like last week i think so i would have had more time to like organize fcs and stuff but I, I didn't think it out so this is this is what we're doing all right so we got corner huts there but that's no problem kill squad hogs crushing right on through there guys we're gonna try out the hybrid i'm not sure how i feel about the hybrid we're gonna try it out we'll see how things go uh that'll be our next attack our fifth and final attack for town hall 10s to use in clan war leagues all right guys so for the hybrid what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a blimp with a yeti and valk we're gonna send that right in here towards the town hall uh to pull out any clan castle troops and also try to take out the enemy queen and then we're gonna queen walk down this side and then we'll kind of have the alleyway set for the hybrid to kind of work through the middle of the base. Again, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't use this attack at Town Hall 10. I think there's better attacks to use for Town Hall 10 and lower Town Halls. But that's, you know, that's that's what we're doing. So we're going to pretend like Clan Castle troops are going to come out here. We're going to get that queen out. Oh, yeah, that's, that's going to be crushed right in there. Uh, having the Yeti Valk combo in there is going to be beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start our queen right here. I'm going to go with the baby dragon there. Coco Loon just to make sure that the queen will be fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start this one wizard right there to take out that camp. I'm going to bring my king right around here. Another wizard right there since that didn't quite work out. Now I'm bringing three uh, heals and just one rage because we're not really going to try to break the queen in on this one. We're really just going to let her kind of work around the base and do her thing. So I'm going to put this balloon right in here. I'm going to go ahead and go with my miners and hogs. We're going to let the miners kind of get out in front here. Queen's still fine. We'll let her pop her ability here momentarily. Actually, she's... Yeah, she's good. All right, so let's go ahead and heal early. We don't have a warden, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, we don't have a warden to use. You could possibly bring a freeze instead of a, another heal, but I brought the heal just to try to slow down any skellies. I feel like skellies will be a nuisance on this. But I think a freeze against, like, multis and stuff probably might be the better move i guess i don't know again i don't i don't use this a lot i don't plan on using this a lot at town hall 10 uh, I, d I think there's way better more easy strategies to use for a town hall 10 in war than trying to force hybrid because it looks cool or whatever the case may be uh so we'll get through there i mean that's decent it's got potential uh see if we can get through the back end of this base i would have liked to have gotten that wizard tower down though not getting that wizard tower kind of sucks uh, but I think we're good to three star here. Eh, it's eh. It's okay. I'm not in love with it. <laughs> uh, I think that's just more of my like biased opinion here that I'm not in love with this attack. I don't want to use this. Eh, it's gonna fizzle a little bit here at the end. But that's an example of how to hybrid. And obviously, if you're in war, you can plan more appropriately for the base rather than just bringing a more general broad army like I did here. So we weren't too far off though. 
But I think if we had that freeze for maybe the multi, we could have saved one of our heals just a little bit longer. It worked out decently, just not quite enough. But there you guys have it. That's going to be five attacks you can use in the Clan War Leagues in war in general. As a Town Hall 10, it's going to help you out. We're not going to get through there. So hopefully this video did help you guys out with these five armies to use. Uh, Dragloon, Electron, really good. Kill Squad Hogs, one of my favorites. Uh, test these out. Even try out that P.E.K.K.A. Smash. That's something I haven't used a ton either. I think the air armies at Town Hall 10 are far superior than the ground armies. But if you practice and get good with them, who knows? Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any future uploads of mine. And if you did happen to miss yesterday's video, you can check it out right over there.